Want to see how to fly through objects like this? Let's do it in Resolve. Okay, let's go through this fly through tutorial. The first thing I have here are three clips. The first one's a video clip, as you can see here. The second one was a video clip, but I put it in a freeze frame, and I've already set that up so that it keeps uh, the position of the phone because we're going to fly through that. The third clip is a video clip, and we're going to actually fly through the eye. Now, this one I didn't do a freeze frame in uh, because I'm actually going to track it, and so if you've got some animation or movement with it, uh, you'll know how to do that. But, okay, so for for the bottom clip, you want to set or trim this up to the uh, full duration of your transition. In this case, three seconds is good enough for me. That's about where I want it. The second clip, you're going to want to line it up. About a half a second, in this case, 14 keyframes is sufficient for me. Um, and again, you're going to end that at the same point. And then the third clip, we'll, we'll worry about that later, okay? So the first thing we want to do is to mask out this section here in the phone, okay? So we're going to go into the color section, and we're going to create a new node. And now I'm going to go into the windows, and we're going to go in the curve tool, and we're just going to come in here and mask it out. Okay, so we have that there. Not going to do it perfect because it's just tutorial. We're going to go ahead and invert that. I'm going to add a little softness to it based on experience about how much I need. Go in here in the node section. We're going to add an alpha output. Connect that up. And now we can see it shine through. So now let's go back into the edit section. And we can see the image is shining through. Okay, so let's get the effect where it appears that it's flying through. Uh, through the phone okay what we need to do in order to accomplish that we'll start here at the beginning and we'll go into our inspector section we'll turn on dynamic zoom we'll click the uh, window here and select dynamic zoom and what we want to do is get the green box inside of the phone so if I bypass this, let's just bypass this. That way I can see the phone itself. I'm going to go ahead and put that inside of the phone. I want to maximize the size if I can do that. A little bit less, right about that. That's good. The larger box, the red box, you can leave it at the size of the frame or in my case, I'm going to go a little beyond the frame. And that way, it has the ability to zoom out, and I can get as much of the actual clip in the view before the third clip comes in. It doesn't allow you to see the full view. So I'm going to do that for this, and you'll see what I mean here in a few minutes. Then I turn the bypass off again. Let's see how this looks. All right, so it's it's giving us the effect that we want, and you can see it's going uh, beyond the outline of the clip. So the next thing we want to do is do the final transition, and we're basically going to uh, replicate what we just did. In this case, we're going to do it through the eye. So let's line the third clip up right where we want the final transition to occur. So if I look closely here, He's grabbing the phone, we're bringing it in, not quite. Let's go back a little bit more. That's maybe just a, just a tad more. All right, right before the outline of the image begins to show is when I think I want to start this. I'm going to do it right about there, okay? All right, so now let's go into the color section. I've got my third video here clip selected. We're going to go into the color section. We're going to add a node, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a mask. I'm going to zoom into his eye and go ahead and outline the mask here. 
Okay, so I'm just going to rough it in just for the purposes of the tutorial. If you've got questions on how to actually uh, really uh, dial in an eye mask, I'll leave a link to another video that shows that. Go ahead and add the alpha output here. And there we go. We can see it. Okay, so go ahead and zoom out. All right, the other thing I want to do here is go ahead and track it. So we're going to start here at the beginning of the clip. We're going to select window clip, and we're going to track it forward with cloud tracker. Because the, uh, the video is moving a little bit, so I want to make sure it stays aligned. We're going to track it backward now. Now what we want to do is go back into the edit section, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to uh, set dynamic zoom. I'm going to set this to ease in and out. And go ahead and turn this on, dynamic zoom. And what we want to do is get the green box inside of the eye. All right, right about there. And then the outside box, I'll leave it at the edge of the frame. Okay, so if I turn this back off, let's see how that looks. Okay, so it does follow very closely into the frame. Now there's a reason I didn't extend this out, and in fact you wouldn't want to do that now because if you do it will mess up all your timings with your dynamic zoom. So you really want to lay these out before you do all that. Uh, and there's a reason for that because in order to get this to look, you know, somewhat realistic, we're going to need, actually, we're going to need to move this up a little bit so that we don't have, there we go. We don't see the outside of the frame. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about the rough edge here. But for the purpose of this, I do want to work on opacity so it looks a little more authentic. So what I'm going to do here is copy this clip here. We're going to duplicate that. The top clip here will be used to fade back into the original eye and make that transition as seamless as possible. The clip on the bottom, um, this third clip here, will be used to kind of transition from the phone through the eyeball and ultimately as we continue uh, on through here. So the first thing I want to do for this top clip because I want it out of the way is I'm going to go in here and inspector and just turn the opacity down and we'll come back and deal with this later. Now on this third clip I'm going to start with the opacity at zero also but we're going to add some keyframes here. Start right here and I'm going to add a keyframe for zero. And then we're going to go to about two. Let's see, right about right about here. I'm going to add a keyframe, just going to say 100. So now the effect that I should see here is as I'm zooming or flying through with the dynamic zoom, I should see the eyeball. Uh, become brighter. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, like I said, it, it would look better if I actually took the time to mask this out a little better. Um, so that looks pretty good here. Um, the only other thing I would consider is to maybe extend this just another keyframe. So I'm going to remove this keyframe, cursor to the right a couple of additional frames I actually right there because you can see the edge of this secondary clip showing through so I want to make sure it's on before then so I'm going to go ahead and put a hundred in here alright so that's about as as well as we can do that so the next thing I want to do is transition back to the the standard eye so I'm going to go to the top clip here and we're going to go here into our keyframe I'm going to go out here. So it starts off at zero, where the opacity is zero. It's not visible at all. And I want to start to turn this on somewhere, I guess, right about here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a keyframe in, keep it at zero. 
I'm going to advance all the way down, I guess about here. It's probably pretty good to actually uh, end that. So I'm going to put another keyframe in. I'm just going to go to 100. Okay, so that works, except it's not working. Now, why isn't it working? I need to go into the color section. I forgot about this. So when I made a copy between the third and the fourth clip, the one thing I forgot to do was to remove the power window. So I'm just going to delete this because we don't need it for this uh, the fourth clip here. And now I have exactly what I want. So if I look here, I can see the image and we can see it transitioning very slowly to the normal eye. So that's it. If you want to add more layers to the fly through, you just repeat the procedure we went through. Now in this case, I just had a couple of layers. Um, in the intro, you notice I had two additional layers. So you can really uh, get uh, really deep on this. Now just notice it gets a little more complicated with all of the masks and keeping track of that and, and so forth. So Got any questions, please leave those uh, in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you liked it, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and look forward to the next tutorial. Peace.